Okay, once again, Jeff Raccoon47 here with the little subject you may not know. Well, it's a good idea to have one of these little puppies with you. It is a lighter. People, well, well, I don't smoke. Well, okay. What if you're in a situation where you need fire? Make a fire. I mean, it's kind of like Chuck Nolan in the movie of Castaway. Remember, he had to... You had to figure out how to make fire without one of these. And I mean, in a situation, see that right there? You can, you might need that, or you might need this. See that? You need to make fire. You can't always have the situation where you got a magnifying glass or flint or try to do like bear grills and. But it's the old Boy Scout model, motto, be prepared. I mean, you may be trapped out in the woods or somewhere, and this would, something like this would be the difference between life and death. You wouldn't think, well, I don't smoke. I might be tempted to just stop being such a wuss. Get a lighter, folks. I mean, it could save your life. Or say the power goes out in your apartment. You have candles you don't have matches or a lighter, you're basically without light. And that someone sees a light, they're going to know the power's out. Sees a candle lit, they're going to know the power's out. So you get you better look. This is a torch lighter. It's a vertigo. It's, I, I do have an occasional cigar. Got a couple of these. They're not very expensive. They use a butane fuel. This is the Zippo. I need to get some more fluid for this. This is one of my favorite lighters. The old Hellboy style Zippo. Probably going to need to get some flints too, but Plates and fuel, I'm going to have to get that for this. But always have this. And I'm going to let you know a little secret about this little bad boy. You can still start a fire with one of these without, without, when it runs out of fluid, there's a little trick you can do. You can rem I'll get, you can remove this outside thing right here. This metal part right here with a screwdriver. And this this will still spark even though even when, when that runs out of uh, fuel, this this the flint in there will still spark. You can take that sparking into some cattail fluff or some or some cotton balls and it'll work. It, it, I'll have to show make a video on that one day to show you how to do that. But just letting you know, lighters are not a bad thing for anybody to have. You should all, everybody should own a lighter, either a lighter like this, butane cigarette lighter, or a Zippo. These aren't these aren't too expen incredibly expensive. I have to get my Sam. I have to get some uh, new flints, or these aren't. I mean, you can find some of these that aren't too incredibly expensive. To these torch lighter, this burns with a slightly hotter. I'll get the other one and show you one day. But always have that. Another thing to have carry with you in your bug out bag is this. These are plastic utensils. And get you an inexpensive bottle opener because you never know when you might have to open a bottle. I carry this with me in my little my little string bag. Put a string bag here. This is another thing if you ever see one if you ever see one of these for free somewhere, I 
I mean, especially if you've got a light colored one like this, you can put your name on. Get one of these. You can go, I mean, they're useful when you go out some places. And say, but that also has another little compass on it. But these are just general items you should have. Well, have a nice day.